Welcome back everyone, iOS 13.5.1 randomly got updated. We really didn't even need this update to begin with, but I guess Apple just figured, you know, we needed it for some reason. Now this update wasn't a big one at all, it was very, very small. Now for some reason on my iPhone 7, well I was coming from iOS 13.4.1 or 13.4, whichever one was the last one in that version, I was coming from that specific version, so the update was only about 370 megabytes. But it's even smaller, which that even is a pretty big size, but it's smaller if you're coming from 13.5. It's about 80 megabytes or so if you're coming from 13.5, so keep that in mind. Now, this update in and of its core is really just a security slash bug fix update. It's not a crucial one if you don't need to. It's not like there's some virus going around or anything like that. Now, the only problem with this version of software that I would probably recommend people not to update to it is probably the jailbreak method. So on the iPhone 7, it might not matter too much, but on phones like the iPhone 11 and those phones that have the uncovered jailbreak, going to 13.5.1 will pretty much eliminate the way that you actually use and can utilize the uncovered jailbreak, which is very sad. So if you're using the uncovered jailbreak on your iOS 13.5.1 device or 13.5 device, do not update to iOS 13.5.1. That will ruin your jailbreak. You know you will not be able to gain that back. If you have an iPhone 7, you still have the method of jailbreaking with the check range jailbreak, which is still really cool. You can still maintain a jailbreak that way, but you will need a computer that way. So kind of keep that in mind. You will need to stay on 13.5 if you want to use the uncovered jailbreak. Now everything else seems about the same, the performance and everything. I did run a benchmark as well for the first time in a very long time and I got a pretty good score. I got 225,283 before this weird ad came up and that's actually a pretty decent score. You know, usually I've been getting scores around that, you know, for my other devices. So I'm really happy that we were able to get that type of score on this phone and still maintain that speed. So 13.5.1 is definitely a good update, you know, it's definitely a secure update. But if you don't want to lose that jailbreak access, then stay on 13.5 for sure. So other than that, everything's going to be the same, better life and all that. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.